Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokhen Singh and today we are going to discuss about final and last part of SSH where we are going to see that how to change port number of SSH and how to check rest of features which are available within SSH. Okay. So first of all let us see that what port SSH is listening on. So the command is netstat tunlp it means it will show you all the ports which are available and which are running let me restart the service once service sshd restart or if you do if you don't want to run this command so you can run system ctl then restart then sshd underscore config so this is the command which you can run so okay 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 fine so sorry so this is the particular uh, service which is running so if we want to check whether the, on which port this is running so tunlp is the particular command to check that this is running on port 22 fine so what if i want to change and why do i need to change so first of all you should understand that so many organizations which are running financial transaction systems so they don't want to have their servers on running port 22 reason being this could be a security threat because this is default port and maximum organization do not prefer to keep their services to be running on default port fine so now what we need to do is for example if let me open a new session for logging into my machine and if i log in here i'll have to go to my downloads okay let me make bigger for you guys as you should be able to see it properly fine so first of all let us go to uh, downloads then key folder here this is the folder where my keys are placed so i will do what is i will go to my chrome and after that i will definitely do something here okay and i will copy this particular one and obviously i will paste this command here the command which I have copied from there I will paste it here and I will say yes and I'm logged into my system fine so what if I run this command here so I am able to see that my system is running on net is net is that hyphen t u n l p it means I did not specify any port and I'm logged on to my server and port 22 is up and running and I can work on this what if I want to make it 22 and maybe 23 port or maybe uh, 4444 port I want to run my SSH on so I will have to change one config file SSH etc SSH SSH D SSH D underscore config file okay, this is a particular port which I want to change for example if I want to make it 4444 so whatever port I want make sure that port should not be listed here how you can uh, find that so just run a command which is grab and type 4444 it means it will list you whether port is available or not if port does not come up here it means port is free to be configured for your ssh service okay fine so once again let us check whether the port has been saved or not yes we have saved the port so system ctl restart sshd okay this shows some error here what is error reason being because i have yet not configured that port 4444 can be configured for ssh reason being there is a particular daemon which is known as se linux so i will have to check whether se linux is running yes se linux is running here so until unless i disable this se linux so i'm going to set as yes, enforcing set enforce zero it means i have changed the port to zero and if i run this command now so definitely this will get executed if i check this this uh, port once again so i shall check i can get i can check here that my port my port is running properly so now what if i want to copy this command once again and i want to log in to this server once again so what i need to do is i need to go and paste this command and this shall not log in reason being port 22 is not listening here so I will have to specify hyphen P and then port number is 4444. If I run this command, so now I shall be able to log into my machine by default. Reason being, because obviously now I have specified the port. 
okay so it is taking a bit time reason being because the port 4444 is not allowed on my system because this this service this machine is running on my ec2 and i will have to modify the security group as port 4444 should also be allowed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to allow port number 4444 as well for my security group i will go here and if you are working with your physical firewall so you will have to allow port number 4444 as well http and the port number is going to okay uh, sorry i must write here custom with custom tcp rule i'm going to write here port number 4444 and this should be from anywhere maybe and i will save it so if i go to my terminal once again and if i run this command so now i shall be able to log in and yes i have logged into my system so if i check once again like on which port this is running t u uh, net shut hyphen t u n l p so this is listening on port number 4444 and i'm able to log into this machine so what if i want to run my ssh on both ports maybe on 22 and and uh, 4444 as well ssh d underscore config so what i need to do i need to copy this and i will paste it here and post that i will just go here and i will configure port 22 as well in the same fashion as i have configured it earlier so now what i need to do i need to restart my sssh server system ctl restart sshd and that is it if i run this command net stat hyphen t u n l p so i will see here that ssh service is running on both ports 4444 and 22 as well so sshd listening on both so if i log in and log out once again from this server if i log out and if i run the same command again so i can log in on both the ports now fine so one more thing is here i want to uh, ask you guys this question that what if i want to run this command which is system sys tm system hyphen okay there, there is a particular command x clock maybe okay no command is here reason being because this system is cli only so i have a question for you guys if i want to run some gui tools on remote system so how can i so this is question for you if you if you know the answer then please do write in comment box and if you don't know so no, no, no worries i am going to explain within my coming videos so this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server gyan if you have yet if you have yet not subscribed to my channel please like share and subscribe to it and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos thank you very much